Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's make some bihun curry. So first off, let's make the stock. So you need 3 garlic, 2 dry chili, some salt, some pepper, some oregano and then some water. So I boiled the chicken for almost 1 hour. So that's how you get shredded pieces. So that is what I'm doing now. We're going to use this chicken later to top it off with our bihun curry. So I'm still keeping the soup in a medium low heat. So here I'm going to crush the garlics. And then later on, you're going to add any preferred vegetables. Here I'm going to use sawi. I'm just going to blanch it in the hot soup for about 1 to 2 minutes. And then I'm going to remove it. So after I've picked up the veggies, now I'm going to add coconut milk. So I'm using a packet coconut milk here since I can't get fresh milk. You can use fresh milk or the packet ones. I'm using about half a cup here because my broth is not much so I'm using only a half a cup. And then you're going to mix it up. I'm doing this in a very low heat so I don't want it to boil. Next off, I'm going to add some curry powder. So this is meat curry powder, about two spoon and one spoon of fish curry powder. So you're going to mix it up. This is according to your preferences. If you want it to be even more thicker, what you can do is you can add some cornstarch or corn flour and make the soup a little bit more thicker. And then at the end, I've added some pepper. Now we're going to plate it up. So I have some bihun here. I'm going to top off with my favorite fish balls, my shredded chicken. So here I'm placing my blanched vegetables. So now I'm going to add the curry which is the chicken broth. And I have a fried egg here. So I'm going to place that there. And at the end, I'm going to top it off with some green onions, also known as spring onions. And for a little bit of spiciness, some chili flakes. And there you have it. Your bihun curry. Make sure to give it a try. And if you like this recipe, please give me a like, share, comment, and also subscribe to my channel. Before we end this recipe, make sure you clean your kitchen. Bye-bye.